feeling it well today, but I'm very glad to be here. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to see the family come together. It's an honor that it's around African spirituality. See? Because African spirituality is a behavior. You can't just emptily pray in some corner for yourself and then roll. African spirituality bring us together. African spirituality is not a pacifier. That's right. It's an instigator. Right. We must free our babies. That's right. And anyone who moves against our children That's is right. in trouble. That's right. Deep trouble. Yes. And trouble. that is what they're doing. That's right. I'm glad to be here today to see so many people and so many people representing institutions. That means to me, logically, that we are building That's right. the infrastructure to wage war for our children. That's right. At any cost, our children will have a 21st century. That's right. There are those who are in think tanks. There are those in evil places. There are those with 666 on their pale behind who say our babies don't have no tomorrow. Don't ever believe that's true. We are a testimony to that. Thank you very much. We are a living testimony, a testimony that breathes. We make mistakes. But it all should be in goodwill in moving yeah. this race forward. The things that we have documented that the enemy has done are awesome. Come on. Unbelievable. That's right. I stopped about 20 years wondering why they're so devious. Come on. Why they're so demonic. Yes. I stopped a long time because it doesn't matter. Right. I got to deal with you. Yes. I watched them burn my baby store crisp. In the neighborhood I grew up in, Come on. with a black man frightening, right. saying I'll do it again. Come on. I've seen it. Right. I've seen the tears rolling out the people's eyes as troops held the fort, as the fire department ate donuts and drank coffee. Mm -hmm. Black babies died, mm -hmm. and I then understood the capacity of the enemy yes. and its flunkies. Right. 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 And our traitors right. to take the whole race down, right. to take all of humanity, you meaning color, down. Right. So we understand clearly what we're facing. Yes, sir. And our response is to coming together as a people and building institutions That's right. and infrastructure for life. That's right. To move across our value system, our moral codes, right. to build pretty little African kids. Yeah. No African brothers. Yeah. Look at them. Yeah. Sir. Look at them. Right. Hey, man, where's your daughter? <laughs> Is she here? Yeah. All right. Because <laughs> I know she's going to come to you in a minute. Because she loves her daddy. Because her daddy's a good man. See, children know who's a good man and who's half stepping. That's right. That's right. Oh, boy, this is the African family. Right. When we put out this book, the invasion of the body snatchers, which is a continuation of the Black Holocaust, mm -hmm. it was costly. Not in money. You lose wives. Children go the other way. But I can always come here and see my family. Yesterday we were at the Know Thyself Bookstore. I can always there and get some love. Mm -hmm. And continue with you. Not in front of you. Not behind you. With you. That's right. As we build and fight the most awesome, devious enemy the world has ever seen. Right. Who, has, who has risen because we were too soft right. to do the dirty job. That's right. Because we wouldn't do that to each other. Right. But they require the dirty job. Right. Ask the red man, do they require the dirty job? Yeah. Don't they wish they had done the dirty job? Yeah. They would now be enjoying this land and we would be in Africa. Instead, instead, they are in concentration camps. That's right. Not reservations. That's right. That's right. That's war hotel. Not reservations. That's war airplane ride. That's right. That's right. Not reservations. That's the old James Craig That's right. That's right. <laughs> in concentration camps. Dying of tuberculosis and alcoholism. Dying. And most black people tell you, I ain't black. I got some engine in me. Look at this. Look at this. 
as a person who doesn't know the baddest thing you could be is African. Yes. Best thing you could be. If you reach for the essence of it, if you reach for the reality of it, if you reach for the consciousness of it, if you reach for the culture of it, if you reach for the spirituality, if you reach for Africa and that's what we do, don't it feel good? But don't jumps run right through me. Right through me from the ancestors to 1996. On which is year 2000. Right. Them drums played by young hands, yes. guarded by master drummers. Right. Oh, out of the drum we come, don't you know? Yes. Out of the drum we come. That's right. And we're nothing without the drum. Right. That's why the first thing they did was snatch our drum. Right. Told us not to speak our languages no more. Cut out your tongue. Yes. And if you speak the same language, you go there, you go there. He said, but that's my mother. I didn't ask you that, boy. I'll cut your head off. Matter of fact, take his mother back. I want to see her later. That's what the ancestors suffered. But it's here today. Look on your streets. It's here today. The dying is awesome. Millions of Africans per day are dying. They're dying in jungles. They're dying in deserts. They're dying on concrete. They're dying in grates. They're dying in hospitals. That's right. And they're dying. Those who die of old age never really live. Because if you haven't found your African cons consciousness in your way, <coughs> you are not living. It is a sense of insanity. African spirituality is not a pacifier. It's a unifier. And we feel it here today. African culture is everything we are. Everything we were and everything we will be. To move away from African culture is insanity. That's why we gotta bring everybody home. We gotta bring them home. We gotta bring them home and let them feel it. If we can only get them in here, they'll feel it. You have to drag them down the street. They'll call a white man on you and they'll lock you up. He's trying to kidnap me to educate me to myself. I want to see Jenny Jones. Because as I said here once before, we're the only people that are allowing them inside of the enemy now, inside our bodies. Right. Therefore, they are waging war on us and we are dying. And they have no casualties. That's a perfect scenario. It came out of a think tank. They have zero population growth. They can't even make it ugly little white baby. That's they right. That's right. They got zero population growth. Yeah. So they answer the zero population growth. It's called Dr. Frankenstein. Tell him to leave Michael Jackson alone for a minute. <laughs> and come here and deal with me. No, why don't we put a little sperm on a spoon? No, no, no. Take the egg out of the young girl and put it in the older. No, no, no. Let's put the egg out of the kid already fertilized. No, no. Let's freeze the thing. Hey, that's right. madness. These are people who aren't coming to the Contradiction nature they are. If you rolled out of a cave, you would be in contradiction. Right. Now I'm not just name calling. Everything I say is historical fact. They rolled out of a cave. Right. Now for a minute, bless you and I. I know this is hard. I know it's almost impossible, but try for me. Let's try to be white in a cave. I know that's difficult. I'm asking a whole lot, but let's be white in a cave for a minute. Sitting in there, outside is frozen. No vegetation, you ever been to Europe? No vegetation, you ever been to Europe? No vegetation, you ever been to Europe? No vegetation, that's right. No nothing. And all we can do is sit and say, hmm. He looks kind of tasty. But he can fight. Right. If I can get with him, we can eat the weak ones. The weak ones is usually the babies and the elders. Right. 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 
Whitey has problems with his children and his elders. Right. Yeah. He kills his elders or warehouses and steals everything they got. That's right. And he rapes his own baby. That's right. Because he's a barbarian out of a cave. That's right. That's right. He's not like us. He didn't come out of the horn of plenty. He don't know how to be communal and share. He don't know how to pass it on. Aww. He was in a cave. He yes. was so dumb, didn't he know how to invent clubs? Right. So he's a naked in a cave. That's right. Stinky and funky and <laughs> in a cave. That's, right. That's where capitalism comes from. That's right. The weak will be whipped on and work for the strong right. until we cannibalize them. That's right. We don't understand that, and I don't even bother no more. I say, all we have to do is deal with the enemies of African children deal with them however they come. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, so in that cave, the wind is blowing. It's dark. You ever see, do me a favor, I know it's hard. Read a film called Quest of Fire. That's right. Yeah. Oh. Watch them crackers deal with oh. fire. You know what I mean? First of all, to get fire, they had to wait until lightning hit something. Now, I ain't never seen lightning give me fire, so I would have never had no fire. <laughs> Then they run over there with a piece of wood, pick up the pipe, and go out, go out, go out, go out. This is not a time, but that's why they eat their meat raw. Not rare, raw. And they come in with the fire. Go look good. And at the end of the picture, the guy falls to the water and the fire goes out. Backwards, barbaric, cannibalistic. But they rule us now. We're in the hands of a savage right. because we treated them as if they were you, man. Right. We treated them as if they could reciprocate. Yes. And everybody who treated them that way, I don't care whether it was the Chinese, I don't care whether it was the red man, I don't think it, uh, even if it was the Indian from India, everybody. And we vowed, man, and then give them women. No, let's look at weakness now. When people say, well, why are y'all black nationalists against interracial marriage? Because mm -hmm. the last time this boy That's got right. all, all women, yes, sir. we turned their game to him. That's right. Because we thought he'd be being friendly. And then we're human. We see two eyes. We see two ears. See, the heck of a nose. Two legs, right? right. 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 Yes. They were ugly because they had no, no, no color. <laughs> being humane, gave up everything, fed them, clothed them, made them strong, let them end them and then to marry, let them become our mayors, let them become our leaders, let them conquer us. We are conquered from the inside and outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is North Africa. The places they landed. So if we read that, because history is not just to be read, it's to be understood and never repeat it again. Never. Never. That's why when we see an interracial couple, we do some work. That's right. You've got to. That's right. That's why when we see homosexuals, we do some work. That's right. Um, Let me tell you. Sister asked me and said, I don't see why a homosexual can't be a good teacher. <laughs> I said, my child. First of all, logically, right. every species, be it synthetic or not, wants to reproduce. That's right. right. They can't reproduce, they can recruit. Right. <laughs> they can always recruit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You recruit my child. Right. Trump. Right. So why do even let you near? People say this is homophobic. That's not African culture. Yes. Yes. Okay? Yes. Anything alien to African culture, we expunge. Yes. Yeah, we come here in the spirit of African spirituality. There's been a lot of information. Poets was bad, wasn't they? Yeah. Our people, now we're talking about the mainstream people, we're talking about the people who didn't spend their Sunday here or in some other African edifice getting themselves together. We're talking about the mainstream people that they always tell us we're the fringe element to the mainstream people. No, man, we're the vanguard. That's okay. right. It's a difference. That's right. Fringe elephants is only the new They ain't got have a clear vision of what should be done. Right. So they're trying to keep us from the mainstream people. And we have to teach the mainstream people that they're in the middle of an African Holocaust. An African Holocaust that has never stopped. That's right. 
that ever since we came in contact with these people. Don't tell me nothing about some so-called Jews, that white old white crown, white killer fighting. Right. We didn't do that. Why are you attacking us? That's right. We did not pull that one off. And Hitler didn't do the job. He should have did. <laughs> Why? Why did they come at us? Because they want our land, labor, and resources. Yes. Ain't nothing in Russia. Right. Ain't nothing in the United States. Right. Everywhere we are is where the land is arable. That's right. It's where there's gold diamond. Where food grows. That's right. You know where we can put a society together. Right. Where the sun shines down on your soul. Yeah. Yeah. Hasn't this been a hostile winner? Yeah. Hasn't this been a backwards winner? Yeah, yeah they're messing with the right. elements or right. the weather modification, mm -hmm. which will be in our new newspaper in about a week or so. Let's say this. Why would somebody mess with the weather to kill you? Weather has a weapon. Mm -hmm. Because, again, out of the cave, they hate weather. That's right. They hate nature. That's right. Nature put me in a cave. That's right. Nature gave me no melody. That's right. Come on. Nature made me thousands of years behind the black man. That's right. I can't catch up with him. I can only kill him. That's right. I can't make it a level playing field with affirmative action. That's right. Because even in my game, he's superior. That's right. He's versatile. He improvises. They are so strong. You ever see a sister put together a meal when she was broke for a whole family? Yeah. When I was a child, my, my mother used to say, why don't you go down and get that cup of rice in his hand? Oh, Miss Betty, tell us I want to borrow some beans. Right. Uh, you know, I got some broccoli in here. Can somebody get, tell go get something to season this way. Here's right. a quarter. And look at here, we're going to do this. And we say, we never knew we were poor. That's right. We see you. The only way our people don't see the black holocaust is because of culture banditry. Culture banditry is a phrase I came up to right. talk about a phenomenon of them taking your culture from right. you, repackaging your yes. culture, claiming that they did what they didn't, That's right. claiming that they were in something they wasn't, That's right. That's right. claiming that Sha Na Na was head of Dua, that Jimmy G was head of Jazz, That's right. and David Sanborn and, and, and uh, David Kaz were the best jazz players right. in the world. Right. Or oh, that the House of Pain was the rappers. Yeah. And Vanilla Ice was much more vanilla than the chocolate boys. Right. And everything that they, niggas in bed belongs to us. That's right. Because as a slave, pay they never come. If you are a slave, pay they never come. So everything you build, the master takes and claims. That's right. We think they're crazy, but they claim it because you say you are slave. You produce this owl, take it. That's right. Reggae owl, take it. Jazz owl, take it. They give you the blues and they take the blues from you. Yeah. <laughs> the Black yeah. Holocaust culture banditry, which is the mass media yeah. of global white supremacy yeah. that keeps people so they can't even see that they are dying. That's right. That they don't even relate to each other, nor do they value African life. Let's say if they're dying in Somali, hmm, Ethiopia, That's hmm, right. South Central, hmm, Bolivia, hmm. I just want my food stamps. <laughs> and they shouldn't have been up in that desk. <coughs> or they shouldn't have been on that street where they got shot. Or well, if they weren't out in that street, the policeman wouldn't have had to beat him like that. If only he should have stood still. The Black Holocaust has to be seen. It cannot only be seen through African eyes. So we can have to Africanize the people. That's common sense. That's right. You know? Even though you have white people who pretend to be us only for economic reasons. Yeah. You know? That's why it's important to them that the OJ holds a uh, thing, how that went down, is that a white woman died, a so-called Jew died, and there wasn't no lynching. That never happened in history. They were all upset. They said, look, we got two dead white people. And we ain't lynched nobody. We're losing our juice. We got some power. <laughs> We need another Emmett Till. Yeah. Grab somebody. That's right. Thank you. The only thing that's important that they know when they grab somebody now that there's a response. Yeah. Because yeah. culturally there's a demand and a response. That's right. So we move and move right at you. Yeah. We move and move. So instead, we got mad. Yes. We burn stuff up. War is politics with violence. That's right. We must master war. Yes. We must turn away from the riot and master war.
right. We must have boys who are trained go to the front and the women and children to protect them. And they should go out just as deadly as they do in Vietnam. That's right. And been in Korea, right? That's Later, right. Right. in Panama. That's right. That is a barometer that we are insane. That our children march off the war. Listen to me. Who ever heard of such a dumb commercial as say, join the army to raise some money to go to college? The last time I heard, the less money you had, the more loan you got, the more grants you got. We acted and we go, but last year they told me that. Well, I'm uh, going to college, and I'm going to the army and spend about eight years so I can uh, get my butt over to college. Oh, wait, <laughs> sit down, sit down, tell me. No, you can't tell me. No, no, no. I said sit down. See, you got to sit down. Yeah, right. Well, well, who sit down? Oh, you take a charge here. Yeah. And then you rap to them. That's right. And you run them through the logic of that. Right. Be all that you can be. Be me. Kill for free. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. White supremacy versus white supremacy. <coughs> against against pan-Africanism. That's right. It's always been that's right, right. Global white supremacy. That's right. Which is giving us the black uh, the, like Holocaust. Yes. And we don't see it. We can't see it because the cartoons make sure we don't see it. <laughs> right. We're still watching them. We got a few cartoon <laughs> called the Gargoyles, yeah. where they got their Illuminati who are really fighting and they're criminalizing as if that's some kind of game. That's right. See what I mean? And if you watch their films of Demolition Man and different things, this is the American nigger factory. Right. Niggas are not born in man. Right. Malcolm said a child is born dumb, a child is made dumb. Right. And when that child is born dumb, and like the brother said, you hand them over to some, to your enemy, we don't want to do that. You know? That's right. And right on that enemy, you need that white child. Six hours a day. Yeah. Ten months a year for 12 years. I would not have to lie to him. He'd go home and kill his mom. <laughs> when he find out who he is, what he is, mm -hmm. let me talk to him. So they have our children, and they come home and kill us. That's right. That's right. And we think the children have something like that. So it's global white supremacy. That's right. That's all of them. We argued all through the 60s, 70s, and 80s with the so-called black left who wanted to actually be progressive integrationists. <laughs> See, because if you with the white left, you can get a white woman. See, you can get a white woman, you can have a white woman. Because they're revolutionary. Yes. What we found is we found that the white left was just like the white white, right? And now they're home. Because they don't play that game no more. You know Russia did fall down. And it amalgamates with the United States. That's right. See? The Berlin Wall, which they used to shoot people climbing over, came down over here. Right. And they're consolidating for the last push in the black people. Why? Because we win in the war. That's right. We beat them in Angola and Mozambique and, 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 and uh, 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 Mozambique, Angola and Guinea Bissau. Physically now, now I'm not talking about somebody turning over physically. Right. You know what I mean? Chase them out with their drawers on. Right. Right. Where is that documented by the black writer? Mm. What black writer has written about our military victories in Zimbabwe? Mm. Hey. Where? We were in Zimbabwe, and they told us, they said, one day, you know, they, they poisoned the water, and black children were dying. So the brother said, they snuck up through the bush, up into a white school in the hill, killed everything walking. <laughs> <laughs> never touch a black child again. Mm. That's how you stop it. Right. You know, our children don't understand it. They know they're dying, they know they're under siege, yes. but they see no true motion from us. Right. But there is motion, but it's a little too slow. Change. Change. This is motion. Yes. This is motion. Each one, each one, pull them in. Right. Prepare, organize. Yes. Organization talks to organizations. That's right. Organizations work with organizations. That's right. Religions work with Malcolm said when they hang you, they don't hang you because you're religious. They hang you because you're That's right. right. And we kill uh, your black oh, well, you so we have black holocaust. We're in the middle, dying all around us. That's right. You know, I never dreamed that book would sell like that. Because I thought every city I went to talking about culture bandits, they were like, well, brother, Bell, I don't think they're going to kill us all. They don't think they can kill us. I don't think they can kill us all. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I say something. Yeah, I'm not there. Do you think, uh, you know, uh, put us in country 
Frederick Edward, I don't care. <laughs> See, you don't know the history of these people. That's all they do. That's right. There's the Arawaks and the Colonados, the red men of the Caribbean. They killed all of them. Right. And they brought you from Africa on them out. Right. Ask the red men here, will he kill all of you? Yes. See? Tasmania, yeah, and then they put a cartoon on and teach our kids a Tasmania mon monster to dehumanize them to justify their extermination. That's right. See? So we look at the mirror, and we're at a stage of the whole cost of we must understand. That's right. That's how I wrote the invasion of the body snatchers. It is an amazing process that is so scary. I do not fear white people. I do not fear the CIA. That's right. That's right. I fear confusion and foolishness. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. They won't defend themselves. Yes. They'll die. They'll even vote back in a mayor who bombed them. That's right. That's right. See how the people ain't stupid. It's the American nigger factory. That's right. Because after you finish that education, after you watch that television, after you listen to their songs, and after you see all these naked white women, on cable, in soap operas, I turned to HBO to prison. The other day, get in, did we laugh? It was tag. Ew, tag. <laughs> <laughs> See? So it's important to understand what's happening. A child is important, a child's made to. So we have to break it down. To Where's our press? Because of the Black Folks Revolution, we have come up with a bunch of information. That is awesome. Yes. You yes. talk about all the Renaissance all you want because you had to go up to a Jew, so called, That's and say, I wrote a book. Yeah. Now, you wrote a book, boy? Let me see that book. Right. Mm. Yeah. You gotta take that out of the book. And where's me? Me, me, me. Get out of here. <laughs> Civil rights, he gave you all that money. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I'll give you two cents right. a book. Right. Them days is gone. That's yeah. right. That's oh, right. Them days. You know, that clarifies the storm. That's right. And from the eye of the storm, you must clarify. Yes. And then pass it on through the mother's milk to the baby. That's right. You wouldn't live in the jungle and forget to tell the kids, don't pet the lions. That's right. Well, you don't pet white people. That's right. You don't go here. against white supremacy. Global white supremacy yes. is a system put together so that they can get everything, the minority of the people of the world who consider themselves white and the minority of that minority yes. is to enjoy the fruits of the labor of the people of the world. That's right. Because of the change in society from robotics and computerization, you no longer need cheap labor. That's right. Therefore, you have to get rid of a lot of That's right. You don't have to. But in their thing. That's right. Okay, so in the global uh, uh, 2000 paper uh, that issued by Jimmy Carter said 2.7 billion people of color had to be erased from the face of the earth. Mm. And that mechanism is the invasion of the black right. Starting with, with AIDS. AIDS was developed to break down the most dynamic immune system ever put together by the evolving of the African who started a long time. When you think about it now, our people eat. Oh, uh, we would eat. Yeah, scraps, garbage, right. peat guts, right. bad bread food with no nourishment whatsoever. Right. And we still fly through there with the greatest of eating. <laughs> Don't get back to walk with a big old seven foot brush and can't touch the rest. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Little shot bread is seven foot six. <laughs> Why don't you be a social worker? 
Because they knew it was going to be obsolete by the year 1990. When they was going to dismantle the welfare system. And when you, <laughs> when you're a social worker and you hungry, you standing on the corner, and the brother walked by and said, brother, you need some uh, social work? <laughs> Yo, I can use a mechanic, I can use a plumber, I can use a mason. That's right. Well, how about some psychology? No, 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 no. That produces nothing. That's right. Right. You can't feed yourself. That's right. So you got educated nothing. Right. Leaving the house every day with a cheese sandwich and a resume in their kids. Suit it down. You think they work? You yeah. think they work? Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Backwards and dumb, don't know they gotta head back to their culture. Yeah. You know? To get that transfusion. Yeah. You know? So we at the service. We at the service of white supremacy. So Pan-Africanism is the only thing that gave this because they distribute us all over the world on the basis of slave manifests and drop us in this port, that port. We wind up talking a little different languages, eating a little different food, a little different experiences, but they didn't very much. Thus, we can build the world together That's right. and counter-attack global white supremacy. That's right. And knock it to his knees and make his yes. and Take back our stuff. That's We're right. the only one thing. It's like somebody reaching their hand in my pocket and grab my $10 bill. I say, hold up, man. He said, well, share. Give me a little suck suck. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Somebody take Africa from the Africans. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody takes us into the Caribbean. We travel all over the Pacific. Yeah, that's right. We're in Latin America. Yes. Yeah. The front is too large. Yes. If we were conscious, right. they right. couldn't police the world. That's yeah. right. And we take them down. Yeah. Not to mention that everywhere we live is everything they need. That's right. In Southern Africa, they needed the industrial uh, diamonds. That's right. They needed plutonium. That's they right. needed a rain. They need everything that's in that land. That's right. Man. Everything to run their complex. That's right. We can take them apart just by taking our stuff. Back. That's right. And it's going to have to be done. Yes, sir. The chapter, the first chapter in an invasion of the body statues is devils at the devil's door. Mm. The devil is at the devil's door, but since no one's telling us, we don't make the analysis. We need this time. This is precious time. What I mean by the devil's at the devil's door, the new world order wants to take over the world, have one world government, our greatest monopoly the world has ever seen. However, the American nationalists, which they call the militia, is fighting them. They say, we kill all them red people, steal all them niggas, and rape and castrate and beat them to death, and steal and have them build this for you to give it to foreigners? Right. And therein lies the rest. So in Waco, Texas, they decided to bomb and barbecue their old babies. See, because when white people are fighting, they fight for freedom. That's right. Mm -hmm. They don't march. Yeah. That's they right. don't sing. No. <laughs> they don't get the corner and pray. No. They kill something. That's right. Because right. yeah. right. that's how you get your stuff back. Right. So they're fighting each other. The devil's at the devil's door. Yeah. They're fighting viciously. In Waco, Texas, they barbecue and incinerate the Right. You know, if we really be killing the whole family, like the family, at least the son, mother, yes. you know? That's right. You see? That's right. They start killing themselves with cookies. Mm -hmm. right. I get the same enjoyment out of that right. as they get out of action news. Takes down in guts of building like this. Yeah. Oh, right. 
Therefore, they tore the building down before the same forensic experts yeah. who were working OJ over got a chance to look at it. The same way Rizzo tore down the building in Palestine Village. The way that they tore down the all and burnt down all the evidence in Cops Creek when they slaughtered our mates. You see what I mean? So you have to get rid of the evidence. Right. Because they know we smart enough. We don't need no experts. That's right. That we make the deductions. Yes. But again, that's white on white crime. Love it. The balls me up. Oh, love it. Oh. White on white. Take it down. Kill it. Beat it. Stick it. <laughs> the same way they get off when they watch the In the Hood flicks. Yeah. Or turn on the news and watch us fight each other. Right. right. Watch your sister see the picture, wait until they exhale, and go blow up her old man's car. Right. And you tell me the media has no effect. That's right. We'd set that man's car up in his house. And <laughs> it's just like an elite period. I like the old grits and, and honey. Man. That was our thing. Consolidate whoever wins. Oh, by the way, don't forget they were blowing up trains. Did you hear about yes, that? Sir. That's war. Right. But no writer, black, I'm not talking about white people, white folk tell you that's right. <laughs> I don't tell them nothing. Right. You know what I mean? Because they ain't here. Because they don't come. We, we, we don't allow them. Right. Remember, I was, I was out there at the slave field. And uh, they were saying white people are trying to infiltrate the slaves. Uh, uh, slave theater. They're saying that it's a public place and white people should come, should be able to come. So automatics answer them very carefully. He said, white people can come in here. I just don't know whether they can get out. <laughs> of a nation when it changes, attempts to change directions, when it tears itself up. They consolidated themselves before. And that gives us time to continue building the infrastructure. We don't need to panic. We need to continue to build our institutions. We don't need to panic just because I got a plan. We prepare for it. And those who are getting the gap, we just uh, get the gap. It's your gap. You know what I mean? Those are training, train quietly. It used to be in the 60s, all they had to do was come up with a mind about, well, brother, now, what are you doing now for your Negro people? Well, I, well, I be doing, I be the leader. I do this, and I do this, and we're going to get white. No more silence. They don't even know who to talk to. That's right, that's right. So we're growing. Yes. Because history don't repeat itself, we repeat history. That's right, that's right. And I swear we don't want to let this one get through. Do we? Do we? I know we don't want to live this one again. I don't know how we got this one. Our ancestors suffered so greatly to deliver this thing unto us. That's right. People say this is the hardest time. The hardest time when they knock on your door and say, send me your wife. Yeah. Send me your 13 year old daughter to break her hand. Send me your little boy. Free. Yeah. If the ancestors could suffer that to deliver this thing unto us, how can we talk about these are tough times? Yeah. The New World Order is interested in population control. Yes. The New World Order is interested into, into identification South African passes. Right. That are computerized. They're working on them now. All the information I got was from them. I didn't make people always say, where? Well, how you make that up? I said, <laughs> I said, my imagination ain't that wild. <laughs> I ain't make that up. I told you where I got that. Now stop being so lazy, go check me out. Yeah, yeah. You know, always check your speaker out. That's right. right. Even, if, even if you, just in case you may go say, hey, brother, there, but, but, but I learned so much from people who I be addressing. Right. When I talk to them, their knowledge comes from the people. That's right. It's not one individual has the knowledge. It comes from the people. Right. Come from us reasoning and moving information. That's right. We were in cyberspace long before they knew. That's right. They up in cyberspace now. We used to beat the drum, tell you to follow the water. Yeah. 
We used to say, follow the drinking going for the old man that's waiting to carry the freedom. We used to say, wait in the water till the God's going to trouble the water. That's right. And we know which one to go. You know, we stay on the side of space. All of the drum. Yeah. National identity cards now. Yeah. Identity cards that say, when you pick it up, it just works again and through, and it can tell you where you are, where you are, everything. Yeah. And they remember those in South Africa? say, you're not supposed to be in Joburg. You're supposed to be in Victoria, arrested. And they show it to you if you ever see the film Demolition Man. Yes. And different, they can't play with it because they, they can't help it. Yeah, that's right. They can't. They say, we got a con, and I got to tell it. I got it right. I got to yeah, sing about it. Yeah, right. right. We're going to kill him and take all this stuff. Then they're going to move with biochips inside your body. They've started already on animals saying, saying what, what they call it, uh, uh, info pet. Just, they, they, people are so stupid. Just in case you lose your dog, we're going to put a biochip in him and practice it. And then let the dog run away and say, the dog belonged to Henry A. Cracker. You know, on the great white house. You know? Right. But they've got it lined up for us. Why you right. Hey, yeah. listen, man, the kids are singing about the kids are born in front of the bottom. Yeah. Onyx is singing about it. You know, the goody mob. He made video. They see, you see, run his hand in the computer chip. You know what I mean? That somebody's schooling them. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Let's school all the children. That's right. And we can only school them unless we have them in our institutions. That's right. Until we can build our institution, we need after school programs. That's right. We need salary That's right. programs. That's right. We need them creative. That's right. We need them interesting. That's right. We need to use all the school we got to make it very interesting right. and exciting because their life is very dull. Yeah. All they do is watch is killing the mayhem and death on television and then acting out themselves. That's right. They don't want to do that. But they were born into this culture. We didn't change this culture. This was our fault. That's right. We lied to our children. Yes, we talk about that baby having a baby. You ought to be ashamed of a baby having a baby. Get one out of my mm. face. Said, but Ma, uh, I subtracted. Uh, you know, Billy's age from yours are eldest. I got 13. Y'all ready for me? Hardly no money to pass it on 
and that powerful peer group, I hear them talking to each other on the phone. If they have a problem, they got somebody with sense to talk to them. Say right. someone, no, no, no. No, I say, no. Uh, and if they lose an African point of reference, the collective pull them back. Am I lying? Yeah, that's true. We've had some children come in there hardcore. Right. And they've done the job. Working every day in the trenches. So don't applaud for me, applaud for yourself. You're the workers, I just mm -hmm. document the story. <laughs> you know? You heard all the <laughs> So the devil's at the devil door, we will fight whoever wins. Hey, listen, in this we got a chapter called African Study Groups. Brother DK has to go to that self bookstore. And we come in and we try to counsel people on what to buy. Yes. Yeah. The brother come in, I'm looking for a history book. <laughs> I want myself. <laughs> uh, give me Dion. He said, whoa, oh, freeze. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't start with Dion. Yeah. Yeah. Because you'll start reading on the blue things. <laughs> And then when you read the book, come back and let's discuss the book. Yes, that's right. You know? So I have a, a thing on African study groups, and I go into the book list. You don't have to follow it with some sort of order. You can't become an African warrior, a pan-Africanist, an African queen by not studying properly. You can't become a surgeon if you walk into class the first day and say, never mind all that anatomy stuff. I want to cut something. White barbarians, yeah. the ones who laid George Washington on the table and said, he be sick. <laughs> Let's take about a quarter of that bad blood out. <laughs> yeah, if those few leeches or anything, mm, he's getting sicker. <laughs> Let's take about a quarter of that blood. <laughs> and his old dirty slave master blood just crawling in his jaw dirty. Yeah. He said, my God, George is dead. Yes, fast on. <laughs> God's will. No, because you don't know nothing about science. That's why the, the pyramids are sitting there on shifting sands, plotted by the celestial bodies. Ain't proved. London Bridge ain't all that. Yes. <laughs> 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 Designed to 
kill that uterus. Right. It's designed to kill all of that. That's right. It's designed to give you five more tumors. That's right. It's designed to take you out. Yeah. It, but it wasn't even logical. No doubt. It wasn't logical. So in what state of mind and how trusting are we yes. that we allow them inside our bodies? Right. For years we've been fighting immunization. Yes. Immunization when they put all sorts of substances in the baby's body now. Your baby, the baby don't even have a chance. And tell you, don't bring that kid, kid to school until you're immunized. <laughs> yeah. Double knockout punch. That's right. Attack on the body through the immunization, attack on the mind through a racist curriculum. Yeah. Invasion of the body snatchers. Mm -hmm. They found that the seven infant death sins always came after the occupation of the baby. Because being African, and being in tune with nature, and being logical, we know that if you're going to sidestep the first parts of your immune system, your digestive tract and everything, and go directly into the bloodstream, right into the heart, right into the brain, you've got a problem. Yeah. That whole thing don't even sound good to me. Yeah. 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 And that's how they spread AIDS all over Africa. Telling them they were going to inoculate the people from smallpox. Mm -hmm. You know? And we've been battling them ever since. We've, we've seen the struggles you know, of, of, of the Kenyans and the Kimran. We've yeah. seen Barbara Justice and Lee Muhammad and different people struggling with that, different doctors. Then we, we found out that an African immune system is a doctor. That's right. It's bad. say God, you can say ancestors, you can say evolution, but it's dead. That's right. So they said, AIDS is too slow. We need Ebola. Right. We need Ebola where your whole insides turn to yes. sausage. Right. Where you bleed from all your openings and you're dead within a week. Yeah. AIDS is too slow. Right. They're adapting, both physically and scientifically. That's right. Because all of this comes from us. That's right. All of the education comes from us. That's right. We let them take the foundation of technology and things we use to be in position. But death machines. We deal with something that's deep. So the invasion of the body snatches. We got it. I deal with the Rockefeller monopoly. When Rockefeller finished controlling oil, yes. he said, I'm going to control the medical establishment and right. monopolize. Right. It came up with the American Medical Association. That's right. Right? Yeah. And the FDA. Mm -hmm. Food and Drug Administration. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And ever since then, they've been drugging and slicing, slicing and drugging. Right. Surgery and drugs, drugs and surgery. Right. And it was the African who said we need to move back to a holistic approach yes, to yes. our health. That's right. right. And I go into where this was done before by white people and they brought rush station. That's right. Locked them up. Remember not long ago they were trying to outlaw vitamins. That's right. And what you did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want you to teach how to live. I want you did. That's right. I want your stuff. Right. You're gonna get our stuff. Yes. It ain't gonna be how you want. That's right. It ain't gonna be where you want. That's right. You're gonna have a hard time pulling it out. Rockefeller monopoly. The history of European medicine. Go into that. Again, the cave dwellers, we're talking about cave dwellers now, who are not still not civilized. Right. I'm telling you, talking about taking AIDS out of the mother and putting it in the grandmother, and then celebrating it on TV. Right. Right. Now, let me ask, and then they show you a little bit. <laughs> well, that's the normal white thing. <laughs> They hate you for being black. Yeah, right. They want to walk like you, talk like you, sing like you, dance like you. Yeah, that's right. But they hate you. Yeah. That's strange. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can do it all. Even when we do wrong. They said, how them kids cut their pants down and pull it down And our, our Timberlands, and our Timberlands, and our Timberlands, and our Timberlands. We try to straighten them out of there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I'm a rat, you know? Outside their mind, but if I was grown 
and my ancestors came out of our cave. You know, that's why they have an appetite for beast. Yeah. Right. Mm. Can you see a shepherd standing on a hill saying, mm, that's a fine four-legged sheep right there. <laughs> hey, buddy. Next time I'll talk, I was talking. 
country and give you a green moment. The American Medical Association, they founded that in the 1800s to monopolize. But then they did some slick stuff. It's in the book. What they did is to monopolize medicine. They had to make sure our, 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 our medical education wasn't available to nobody but the elite. So they had to make sure that you went through, through this, this BS liberal arts education for four years, that you then went through medical school, that you then had to do two years of internship. You could starve to death in the course of all that. So you had to have some bread and some people to do that, you know? They would let a few of our tokens through, but now we were getting to get all through. I was at the Emory University where the CDC Center for Disease Control that coordinates all our pain, all our misery, was across uh, uh, the street on the campus. You know, and I was uh, laying up in the room and I was hungry. And you know, as lazy as I am, I said, Rome service? <laughs> Send me three of those and two of those. Six of them, because I was on there. <laughs> but it occurred to me, but it occurred to me yeah. that I was at the CDC talking about the CDC. I ain't going eat that. <laughs> it occurred to me that I wasn't at the temple. That's right. right. I wasn't at the Academy of the Way. Right. I was in the enemy temple, and I was That's sitting. Right. I was hungry as a whip. <laughs> and I was sitting up there, and it occurred to me. You could almost hear him. <laughs> I said, oh no, you could have had desserts. I said, <laughs> <laughs> now, I didn't have one of your sweet potato pies. <laughs> but I had dessert. <laughs> I didn't eat none of them because we had to find out the whip across from the CDC. And then they were monitoring everything we said. My point was really is that the youth who was at Black Youth at Emory was the black medical students. They were doing Black History Month. They asked me to come and explain the Black Holocaust story. You know, you know how the white administration is. You Negroes, you Jigs, for your month, got a little money to play with. And I said, no, go give it to Jesse Jackson. You know, get my Andrew. Yeah. yeah, you know. They asked for me. And they said, wait a minute. Why him? They said, well, Black Holocaust, we know. I said, well, what, what, why you want him? They said, because we're going to be the doctors of our people in the future. Hello. And we want to be the doctors. I still didn't eat the food. Mm -hmm. I went in the hood. Yeah, that's right. See, they took me to the hood and they fed me. You know what I'm saying? They took care of me. They took care of me. I go back even when I ain't got a job. Just to get some of that. So, food. <laughs> No, I don't mean all the children and all that. <laughs> so food is anything cooked by us. It could be a vegetarian all the way. Yeah. It's a chicken or something. You know, yeah. I ain't talking about no guts. <laughs> they did about 30,000 pacemakers to people last year who didn't need pacemakers. Mm -hmm. So that means they cut people's body for profit. Right. So they can get the condo, join the golf club, yeah. and all that. They come and put a pacemaker and you'll be there within three years. Yeah. The MAA made sure that blacks could join. They used to call them their swatchers. You know, meaning niggas. I don't think I'm seeing it properly. Swatchers, swatchers, swatchers. Yeah. You know. We know it. You know, I was in a, <laughs> I was in a store at Delicatessen once when I was little. And Herman, Herman said something, the tone of it said, nigga. I don't know what he said. He said, oh, shut up. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama what's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? The tone of it. Yeah. We got antenna. Yeah. You weren't saying hello that way. No. You know? <laughs> This society depresses our people. This society drives them crazy, the stress of it, the insanity of it. Then we go to their doctor and they give us Prozac. Yeah. Prozac drives you crazy, drives you insane. It will make you kill your own people. It gives you suicidal tendencies. It should be outlawed. Prozac is dangerous. On page 65, I have something on Prozac. 
It says simply, the FDA has refused to look at the registered complaints. However, when Joseph Wansbecker on psychiatric leave from his job killed eight co-workers while injuring a dozen others before killing himself, the cat was out the bag. He was Prozac. Yeah. And almost every incident where they were mass, and they do mass kill themselves, kill their whole family, kill their mama, kill their papa, kill everything, because they are cave dwellers. Right. And that doesn't bother them. They, all they want to know is, well, we're going to eat them. <laughs> the jury ruled that Prozac may have contributed to the deaths and the families of most of the victims called for a congressional uh, investigation. This after Prozac was promoted as the wonder drug and as the hot yuppie upper. Yeah. See, they use it on themselves either. They use it on also because they will run it down uh, the population. They no longer need all these people. They always tell you there's there no land, and every time I would travel through here, they see no more land. No land for us. No room for us. Prozac. Prozac is dangerous. They give, they gave it to children who, who are out of control. They say, and they all got suicidal tendencies. Prozac, dangerous drug. However, in 1989, Prozac made 350 million dollars. By the year 201, it's predicted it will make 20 billion dollars a year. Just Prozac. They using it for everything, weight loss and everything, because people are stupid. People are born up thinking that a pill could do it all. That's right. Matter of fact, I don't even know it's crazy about Tolerant. Right. Because what happens, your body's telling you, look, something's hurting. You need to check it. Ah, oh, well, give me two of those pounds. It don't hurt no more. I'm well. You mean, well, you just mash your symptoms. And they're good at masking symptoms. Your body talks to you, you know? I'm an expert, but I can always say cake. <laughs>
you know, you heard you're changing the name, and maybe changing the drugs, but that's the only yeah. yeah. What they were doing yesterday, they might not be doing right. tomorrow. They're doing it, but they changed the name of the program, they changed the financing, because when you find things out, that's why your research never stops. That's right. Okay. Right now, as I speak, this could be over. That's right. But at least my people have to know the capability yes. and that their plans mm -hmm. offer their documents, because they're not going to believe it. Right. If it's not, you know. So Ritalin is a disease that uh, is, is a drug that gives you drug dependence. That's it. They, they create drug addicts. Right. They just don't decide. Right. You know? Right. You know? It starts with the immunizations. Immunizations, we know what that's about, you know? It's a hard thing to engage into the body snatches when we're not defending our mind. That means we're having casualties and millions of Africans are dying and being maimed and we're, since it's not a gunshot, since it wasn't a bomb, we don't see it as a weapon. Biological chemical warfare is a dangerous. I go deeper into that. And it's a danger just because we can't tell our people say, well, brother can I once talked to a sister. We did an art. We did an article on Nestle's. Nestle's came up with this inquiry. Right. And it was killing millions of babies all over us, right. Africa and Latin America. That's right. And you actually talking people in that the mother's milk isn't as good as their chemicals. Right. That's what I say that we have to get into the mindset. Then right. we can walk. But until you get the mindset, and I was telling the sister, I said, sister, please, don't do that. Well, that's you saying that. No, I mean, all this denial now, and illegitimacy of a black man or woman. But sugar, you ever have baby food, put Gerber's or beach nuts in the refrigerator for a few hours and drink water? Has no substance. How would you trust your enemy to feed you? I would never trust my enemy to feed me. That's why. You ever see how they say, nigga, you're, you're, you're making me sick, Louise, you better be here on time. You and that lazy husband of yours, now get there and fix me something to eat. Uh, I wouldn't trust nobody, I just hit. Go get she said, yeah. Still. God damn it. We don't, just, we don't go to no hole in the wall, child hooks joint with a hole in it, and you stick the money up under there, the baby walking by with no diaper on, the diaper done fell in the back, and you come in there and you want some scripts and rice. <laughs> Charges at them. It's not perfect, but information is developed and we can get them to read now. Black people read, they may not read the right thing, but they read. The biggest myth is black people don't read. They used to say, You want to hide something from a black person? Put it in a book. That ain't true. That ain't true. Now, the black people who don't read is the ones that the Board of Education made criminals. That they made sure couldn't read on the sixth grade level and had no comprehension. Because we, what we're missing is critical thinking. We don't do any critical, all this is about critical thinking. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you, if I was going into an operation, I'd never have a stitch. You'd have to tell me everything. I'd have to work it out. Then i have to find out where can I have this operation where I can tell you, trust what's in I You know, Amos Wilson is dead. C.S. Miles is dead. Stokely Carmichael is very ill. Whitey Tourette. You know, drop it like fly. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So the worst thing I think about is getting sick and have to go to Bob Marley die and slow and catering in Miami. She was just Kwame and Kuma died in Bucharest, Eastern Europe. Seco Torre died in Torre. The African don't even have a place to die! Because we haven't built that place to die. So we need our doctors, we need our nurses. That's why Ebola, when you use Ebola, and they don't know it's Ebola, the ones who die are the health professionals because they are treating you as if you have a cold and a fever. By the time they find out it is Ebola, in Zaire, almost all the health professionals who had guts enough to come back and serve the message of the people are dead. So they knew what Ebola would do. Not only kill the people, but also wipe out the health professional who they stored would want to be a millionaire doctor, but went home to do their work. We do have loyal people who go home, go 
go up in the bush. That's where the health care is needed. Yes, you got it. They moving with it. They got to be taken out. They ain't going to stop. What are they going to say, excuse me? Oh, sorry, you know something. I've changed my way. <laughs> Tell us something. I'm not the man I used to be. Yeah. Dead man can't hurt you. You owe it to your baby. They keep charging at your children. They have no conscience and no mercy. This ain't name calling. This is on the basis of critical thinking. They even butcher one another. But we know that around there we're beating each other. Did, did, did France and England have a hundred years war? That means war is their norm. Peace is abnormal. They hold tight with that. So here we come reaching for our culture. Reaching hard for our country, because we know that will give us a clear vision. They will know that that will move us into action, that denial will be gone. We know that we're on the last stage and we're sitting in places like this all over this country. I'm headed for California. We'll be in meetings like this every day. The big ones, little ones, I don't care the size of the people. Sometimes you could have 500 people in a meeting and only four here. Yeah. Sometimes you have 50. Yeah. 49 here. That's right. You just do what you got to do. That's right. Our young people is the final thing I'm going to talk about. Our young people need us. We don't love them. I challenge our people. We don't love our people. Because love is a behavior. Any people could say, I love you. Mm -hmm. Pat you on the butt and say, go, go turn that trick. Yeah. 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 So they practice in the mirror. I love you. I love you. I love you. Get Barry White to do it. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. I love you, man. <laughs> So, the young people need us. I see them <coughs> struggling. And so I did the trap, the, 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 uh, uh, the chapter called Rap in the Revolution. They white people slip. They got stupid Dolores Tucker, a slumlord, who used to be Governor Milton Shaft, the Jews' girlfriend, right? and Reverend Chicken Minister Butts to attack our children. We cannibalize our children. How do you attack our children? Our children invent a liberating culture, use it to beat the enemy over the head, use it for fun, use it to talk about their woes, use it to talk about their foolishness. It is their invention, and we want us to shut them down. So the bourgeois attacks the grassroots, because the grassroots is the real victim. They're the sufferers did the same thing in Ray Gay. At the end, they had to kill Bob Marley against the cancer, just had to go to the stump. Had to lay Peter Tosh down and blow the back of his brains out. Had to kill Mikey Spiff, stone him. And now I have to move to Baruch and anybody else who can speak. But the struggle continues. It is culture. So what do they do after they kill the practitioners of the culture? They change it to dance hall. Now, instead of the easy skanking of the eye trees in their African robes, talking about their belly full when we're hungry. A hungry mom is an angry mom. Yeah. Yeah. The rain will fall with the dirt is tough. A pot to cook, but food will not. Now, Patrick, the Patrick, oh, pull up side my papa, baby. Yeah. Now the beautiful African woman from Jamaica, they got them bent over. Grinding in front of white boys. Mm -hmm. When we were in Jamaica, did we not see the red That's right. You red That's right. You know, yeah. The white girls go there, red arasta. You know? Next thing, she on the back, back of the bike, riding with him up into the woods, get some of that good ganja, and some of that black, you don't know what. Red arasta. It's a minority, but it's damaging. It's also survival. So the young people invented the culture so that they could speak. And they speak. They try to act like they're focusing in on the gangster rap, which is about this portion. Now, gangsters have a right to speak, too. Because as long as I hear you speak, I know your melody. If I know your melody and we communicate, I can hear you. If I don't know your melody, I'm guessing that you got me fooled. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you ever deal with people who play games? Yeah. Or have a mate that play games and all kinds of games? You never know where they're coming from. Yes. You just know they ain't coming from the right direction. Yeah. So they have a right to speak. They were a minority. But then again, there's the conscious right. They're all over the place. And we pay them no mind, give them no props, give them no defense, give them no help. 
They lay out there in the top. The new one is the Fuji's. Fuji's people joke. Who are the Fuji's? Immigrant refugees. From Haiti, Jamaica, and the sister is from New Jersey. She says she's a refugee too, because she's from Africa. These are kids. We should be proud. Instead, we say, turn that noise down. I'm listening to Luther Van Ross. They even got it on that Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola commercial. When they're downstairs saying, you're all I need. To get by. And, and Tammy Terrell and Marvin Gaye, and they're here, they explain the exact same song, the kids upstairs, about Mary J. Blige and Method Man. And they take, and the, the old man gets up on it and start beating on the step that noise up. Play the same song. We hate our children. We, because most of the tracks come from our generation. Came from Giants Brown, Sly Stone, and that crazy George Clinton. There's something about that name click that do you in <laughs> What rap in the revolution? In other words, you have young people who can articulate the storm and are articulating to it. But remember one thing, the conscious rappers usually sell underground, but they sell millions of copies. What does that tell us if we're doing critical thinking? There's millions of black young people seeking out progressive music to uplift men. We should plug into that instead of struggle against that. You know. For example, Brother Paris said, niggas steady dying, never making front page in America. Scary white, he never caught a case. We're killing blacks, so we hold him caught up in the street. Please have some more coffee, coffee, death, and donuts on your beat. Now, some will say cop killing music might incite, but killer cops walk on niggas each and every night. So tell me, who's to blame for the hate that he produced? I'm better off dead than with you, F America. That's hard to put Shakespeare to say. <laughs> Guru. Now listen to the political content in these raps. These popular raps. Guru, right? With chemical warfare that created crack that, that, that created crack and AIDS, got the public thinking these are things black folk made. And every time there's violence shown in the media, usually it's a black thing, so where are they leading you? To a world full of ignorance, hatred, and prejudice. TV and news for years, they prejudice. Foolish notions that blacks are all criminals violent low lives and even animals. They want, they want to send us to a war and they want to ban rap. What they really want to do is get rid of us blacks. Genocide is for real. I hope that you hear me. You must be aware to you come back to the conspiracy. That's all. Winding down, Dr. Clark says, from his book, Who Betrayed the African Revolution. To look toward the 21st century, I must look backward, backwards and forwards at the same time. I must first look back at the 15th century, at the 500 year span time, the age of menticide, and explain the colonization of the mind that has brought us to the sad state where we get, that when we get close to liberation, close enough to touch and taste it, and turn around and begin to move back in the other direction. When you keep people out of power so long, they long desperately for power. And when you get close to that power, Dr. Clark, illustrious elder, you know? So it's what the young people are saying. And so obviously, they understand the problem. Obviously, they're the vanguard in the artisans. I got to stop here with the Goody Bob, my favorite. OK? These guys are so countrified. They don't pretend they're from the cities. They're so real, you can touch them. And they say the New World Order, they experiment with men in Atlanta, Jordan. United Nation overseas trained assassins to search and seize, not knocking and asking. Concentration camps with gas, gas pipelines. Dot, 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 dot. Listen to me now, believe me, they don't want in the future. <laughs> hey, who's where they go? Pretty <laughs> <Free mile. laughs> Listen to me now, believe me later on, in the future, look it up where they say. Then I go to unmarked black helicopters swoop down and try to put missiles in our minds. Who's that peeking in the window? <laughs> That's an analysis that a social science is supposed to be. See? So, they're being schooled, 
there is a connection, and they're moving it forward. The last thing we got on them is, well, you know what else they're trying to do? Make a curve you, especially for me and you. The traces of the new world order. Time is getting shorter. If we don't get prepared, people, it's going to be a slaughter. My mind won't allow me not to take it curious. My folks don't understand, so they don't take it serious. Who's that thinking in my window? Oh, you'll take it all the way. <laughs> now, you heard people rhyming with that. That means the message is out. And you still, and, and, and that stuff funky? You still can get funky and get down. You know what I'm saying? But you're being politicized. But what we have to do in the 21st century, they need adults to move forward and lock into them and protect their back. I remember when I was coming along in the 60s, I turned to a elder, I said, we're black and we're proud, ain't we pops? He said, y'all black and you're pan, I'll get in the sit down, stop running. <laughs> 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 to my heart. And I said, when I, if I, if I live long enough to be considered a mama or an elder, I'll have something to take. So we're not going to let them go out like they're being brave. It's no money in that in the Fuji's. The Fuji's got no woman, no cry on the album. That dear version of Killing Me Softly yes, with the Sun. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you, uh, the title cut is called The Score. We're going to settle the score. Yeah, he got to the head. He been cheering. And then he got to sit right there. He been dead years. Hey, me. You hear this, Danny? Well, no, no. Oh, uh, Steve, can you hear this? Uh, oh, man, where you been? Uh, play it, man. Don't, you don't play it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You connect with your young people. It ain't me. Yeah. They make sure I don't miss a trick. Yeah. If you stay with your young people, you stay young. At least if you're mine. You know? Yeah. You hang in there with them because they begin to teach you. And that's what you set them up for. Yeah. You know? So, we're saying it's the invasion of the body snatchers. It's time that we move and build when we have to. The people in this room are serious and almost everybody's involved in something. And to come out and spend your Sunday getting the type of information mm -hmm. that will liberate us and fortify us. Because after they finish, the devil's at the devil's door. They're going to turn in our direction. And when they're going to turn, I want them to meet something they have. Hello. I'd like to thank you for your time. I always try to start a book off and know myself and here at the temple because it's hard. It's really hard to get your stuff out. But you got so many good people around you. That's unbelievable that you can call any time of night to help you out. So it ain't just to start with corporate personality. It's the people in motion. Follow with the people. Uhuda. Uhuda not in motion.